welcome back to my channel today is going to be more of a chit chat video today we're going to be talking about replica bags specifically louis vuitton replica bags and why i no longer purchase them so i know this video is going to be super opinionated and a little bit controversial so please be nice in the comments to me and of course to each other i want to talk about a little bit of why i used to purchase them in the first place and why i do not purchase them anymore i also wanted to begin by saying there are still pieces that i purchased that are not authentic Louis Vuitton pieces that I do use in my current day-to-day -day life mainly because I already spent the money on them you know they're still functional things and I'm going to use them until I can't use them anymore or I want to talk to you a little bit about my pressure to replace them with the authentic pieces so we'll go ahead and just get right into it I did make a list on my phone of just some points I wanted to touch on uh, regarding this because it is so so controversial first things first I want to talk about why I bought in authentic bags in the first place um, please understand when i'm saying fake i'm not talking about designer dupes that you find on walmart.com or amazon where it's just like the brown checkered print i'm talking about pieces that are specifically labeled as louis vuitton when they were not made by louis vuitton now i do have a video on other replica bags that i own but i wanted to use just the speedy b30 as an example because this was the first replica bag that i ever purchased so it's been in my collection the longest it is also one of my least used replica items because when I first got into it, I didn't really know what it is I was looking for. Um, all I knew is that I loved Louis Vuitton and I could not afford it. I was very young and so I wanted the look without the price tag. I think in pictures and even in video, you probably can't really tell just by glancing at this that it's not an authentic bag, but in person, it's a lot more obvious to me. I personally have spent a lot of time studying this brand and really fell in love with the true craftsmanship of all of the pieces, and that's why it's super obvious to me when I see fakes. I do see them out and about all the time, and I'm obviously not judging because at one point, this is all that I was buying as well. But now that I have started to venture into the authentic world, I do not see myself going back and buying any replica bags. So again, what I mean by replica is this is branded as a Louis Vuitton item, but it was not made by Louis Vuitton. I don't personally have a problem with brands that try to dupe this by doing like brown checkered print. That being said, even the dupes that aren't replicas, I personally wouldn't spend my money on them because I do think that they are a little bit cheap looking. You know, for some people it does make sense this made sense for me at one point too so you know you do what you got to do if something makes you happy then you should be able to wear it and not feel judged for wearing it so of course one of the main reasons I was purchasing replica bags is because of money now this is kind of funny to think about because when you look at how much money you might be spending on replica bags if you would have put that into an authentic piece then you probably could have got a return even at least made your money back i can tell you there are pieces that i purchased authentically that then sold for over 70 percent of a return for me what i tell my husband is he likes to invest in stocks in the stock market i like to invest in louis vuitton where i know my return is probably Pretty much guaranteed that is how i look at purchasing authentic items now the biggest thing is when you purchase fake or replica bags you cannot sell them to anybody else even if you say straight up this is a fake bag you cannot sell them in the United States legally. Obviously, things slip through the cracks. There are people on like Poshmark and Mercari that do get away with this. And I also think it's important to note that the money that you've spent on these replicas is nowhere near the money you're going to get if you do find some way that you can sell them. I think that for me, because at one point I was purchasing these, I'm a little more empathetic towards people that still do. You know, there are people in this community that are a lot more harsh and you know rightfully so they have their opinions for reasons but also there is some child labor laws that are involved um it's a little bit sketchy when you're purchasing things from china now that's just like a whole nother video in itself if you're interested in learning more about that um you should go watch specific videos on you know labor laws in other countries that could be said about anything that's made in china per se. So I think a lot of that is negatively directed towards replica bags. But that being said, it should negatively be directed at all things that come from those countries. Now, even in a recent video, I talked about my replica bags and I said that if you were interested in a seller of some that I would be happy to share that information with you. There was one woman in particular that I talked to 
who told me she was gonna pay over $400 for a fake bag, which is just crazy to me. And I'm so glad that she reached out to me before she did that. So it's really important that you do your research no matter what it is you're spending your money on. I think what's most scary about this is all of mine do have date codes. And if you go online and you type in the date code, it does show as an authentic piece. You know, obviously Louis Vuitton is moving away from date codes. My understanding is that's mainly just for handbags and not specific to SLGs. So people have bought SLGs in 2021 and they have still had date codes. Once you have dabbled into the real authentic world of Louis Vuitton, I think that there are some amazing fakes out there, but nothing is compared to craftsmanship. It's a little hard to talk about this because in the community, Obviously, lately there have been some complaints about quality control. Um, I've seen some things on some Facebook groups that I'm part of that people are just absolutely floored at the things that are being sold in the stores and not being accepted as return for defective. However, the quality of the canvas is different, cannot be replicated, it just can't. There have been rumors before that these replica bags are being made in the same facilities as the authentic ones. I personally do not believe that's true. I did also wanna to touch on a little bit what I said in the beginning, and that is the pressure to replace my fake items with real ones. So first and foremost, I think my Neverfulls are the biggest thing I feel pressure to replace. Um, that being said, I don't feel the pressure to replace them in a bean. So both of mine are in a bean, and um, if I was to purchase authentic versions of those bags, I would go for the monogram. And I think that's partly because I've learned to slowly start accepting Vachetta, but also because monogram is so much harder to replicate. That's the whole reason Louis Vuitton made the monogram print. If you don't know, a bean was the first print that was made. Also, I'm saying a bean, but I know it's Damier or a bean or Damier. People say it different ways, but anyway. It is nearly impossible to replicate monogram. I just haven't seen it. I've seen a lot of high quality replicas or one for one replicas. In my opinion, I've just never seen anything that actually compares to monogram itself. And that's not something I would have said until I owned monogram and actually did side by side comparisons of those. A really good example of that is the Palm Springs mini backpack that I bought that was not authentic. As soon as I put that next to my Monstery PM, it was so obvious to me. And that warm and fuzzy feeling that you get when you order true, real Louis Vuitton in comparison to old fake ones that I have is just not comparable. And that's not something I really, again, understood until after I was already in a position where I could purchase authentic. How could anybody care that this isn't a real piece? And now I'm one of those people, I care. I want it to be real, I want it to be authentic. It has been quite a journey for me I don't mean to make this video to put anyone down or make them feel like they shouldn't be able to enjoy replica bags. That's all you can afford, or maybe that's all you want to afford. It's not even about the amount of money you have. Sometimes it's just, that's all you're willing to pay for a handbag. You might wanna spend your money on jewelry or shoes or clothes or other hobbies. You know, do whatever makes you happy. That's the most important thing to take away from this video, but do keep some of these things in mind. One thing I struggle with, even to this day, but I'm more self-aware about it, is patience. If I could have something right now for cheaper, why would I not do that? It's really hard to be diligent and save your money and then pay for those things at a later point when you want it now, now, now. The older I get, the more I am understanding of that, that I need to recognize that patience is important. I don't need to have everything I want today, tomorrow, or the next day. I can have it in three months, three years, you know, whenever it's meant to happen, it will happen. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below of what your opinions are on replica bags, but be nice. You know, when you create a YouTube channel specifically and you're talking about Louis Vuitton in particular, you can usually go one of two ways. Either your channel is all about designer dupes and replicas and fakes, or it's all about the real, the authentic. So I feel like on my channel so far, it's been a little bit of a mix. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I've noticed that most of the people viewing my videos are not subscribers, so go ahead and fix that. If you're interested in my next video, you can hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on when it comes out. And I thank you again for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.